And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Mei Long, which was a request from Gabe via Patreon. So thanks, Gabe. Also, thanks for being a patron. Mei Long was a true daunted that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Liaoning, China, in the Yixing Formation. And the type species is Mei Long. The name means to sleep soundly, and the full name is Soundly Sleeping Dragon. Pretty good one. And it was named in 2004 by Xing Shu and Mark Norrell. It was found in a roosting position, like birds, with its head tucked under one of the forelimbs and the legs folded under the body. Then a second specimen was found and described in 2012 by Chu and Gao and others, and it's in the same posture, and that just shows that that posture wasn't a fluke. They were probably buried quickly in volcanic ash after an eruption. They were both found in volcanic sediments, and they may have also died because of carbon monoxide poisoning or maybe asphyxiation. It's really hard to say, but they must have died quickly to preserve that posture from life. It looks like they're sleeping, but it's possible that they also went into that position to protect themselves from the volcanic eruption. It's intense. Yeah. Sort of like the Pompeii mummies. Yeah. Although if they're sleeping, maybe they were in that posture to stay warm. That's a nice thought. Staying warm as they froze to death? Well, just in general, they didn't know the volcanic ash was coming. Oh, I see. And they were sleeping, and when they sleep, they try to stay warm. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, this position helps to show the relationship of non-avian dinosaurs and birds, and it may show that they had a common ancestor that lived not long before Melong. So Melong is one of the oldest known fossils found in the sleeping posture. Most dinosaurs have been found in the death pose, the head bent back. Neither specimen really decayed or was scavenged, which may mean that they were in burrows. The first fossil of Melong found is of a young juvenile, and that was about 21 inches or 53 centimeters long, and it had some incomplete fused bones, so that may have meant that it was close to being an adult. Those fused bones keep coming up in this episode. Yeah. The second specimen had juvenile-like features. It was about two years old, and the growth was slowing. They did histology on this specimen, so it was close to being mature. Melong had a lot of teeth that were spaced closely together and large nostrils, a small skull, and long hind limbs, so it was a fast runner. It also had a large U-shaped wishbone and a large sickle-shaped claw on each foot. It lived in an area with lakes, streams, rivers, and, of course, volcanoes. Melong was a basal truodontid, and truodontids were very smart. They had good vision and serrated teeth. There's another truodontid, Synornithoides young eye, which was also found in that sleeping position. Shu and Norrell said that Melong's shared features with modern birds, as well as the fact that they share a common ancestor, plus its small size, helps support the idea that getting smaller was important for flight. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.